Wearable technology promises to transform the way we experience the world. And this is what I have been working on for almost a decade. Tan Le, a remarkable entrepreneur, has uh, started a company. Can we press? Yeah, there we go. That uh, is finally building a brain controller. Marvin is a pioneer in artificial intelligence. Now you can try to think about road hating. You're starting to respond to him. <laughs> Use the force, Marvin! <laughs> what became very clear to me very early on in my career was that technological advancements are driving the future forward and our world forward in a transformational way. A lot of the um, experts that I interviewed said that what I wanted to do couldn't be done. And so we had to um, assemble a team of people who were non-experts in this particular field, but were experts in other adjacent fields. When Tan was eight or nine, she was always thinking, dreaming of uh, moving things by thinking of it. She always tell me that, Mom, uh, I just wish I thinking I move this and it's move. In her 30s, she already make it happen. <laughs> so the device that you see is a 14-channel high-fidelity EEG acquisition system. It doesn't require any scalp preparation, no conductive gel or paste. It only takes a few minutes to put on and for the signals to settle. It's also wireless, so it gives you the freedom to move around. And uh, compared to the tens of thousands of dollars, for a traditional EEG system, this headset only costs a few hundred dollars. This is really the first time in a mainstream way that somebody's put a product on the market and said, programmers, you can uh, program for this, experiment with it, see what you can do. There are creative communities springing up around this idea now because a product like this is out there. Proven in the research sector, they are now developing a consumer product for market. Our vision is to introduce this whole new realm of human interaction into human computer interaction so that computers can understand not only what you direct it to do, but it can also respond to your facial expressions and emotional experiences. We're launching the world's first brain drone race. Two, one, The study aims to uncover factors that allow for optimal work experiences, such as ideal environments for creative tasks and what sort of work conditions can drive collaboration.
These days, you can track your steps and heart rate through your phone or a fitness watch. Now, through brain monitoring headsets, you can also track your cognitive performance and emotions. At the heart of what we're trying to build at Emotive with MW20 is the recognition that we all want to look after our brains. Every brain matters and we need to take steps to care for it better over the course of our lives. Productivity, better focus, the ability to manage stress, all of that comes as an outcome of a healthy, resilient brain. But we won't have a productive ability to work uh, unless we actually care for ourselves. And that's the, at the heart of what we're trying to do. We want to make sure that everybody has a cognitively healthy and fit brain.